Check this out, right? You have a landlord and you have a tenant. The landlord lives in the same house with the tenant or the tenant lives in the same house with the landlord. The tenant works hard. Two jobs, right? The tenant comes home from the first job and the tenant is trying to rest because they have to go to go back to work for the night shift or the evening shift. But the landlord is so inconsiderate that while the tenant is resting, the landlord starts to play loud surround sound, whether it's music or it's a movie. The landlord is playing the surround sound which wakes the tenant up before the time that they're supposed to get up for work, disturbing their rest, right? The landlord's dogs are barking. They have visitors that are over, right? So the tenant gets up, get dressed, and decides to leave for work early because they are upset and don't want to deal with all the noise. They're upset at the fact that the landlord had no consideration for the fact that they work so hard to pay the rent, to pay their bills. And when they come home, they can't even rest because at any given time, the dogs could be barking, they could be having a party, there's visitors coming over, there's surround sound going, there's music going with no consideration for the tenant. So the tenant is upset and frustrated and decides they're not gonna speak or say anything to the landlord because it can cause a conflict. So they walk past the landlord and their guests and their family with all the surround sound going on, all of the dogs barking, and they walk out of the door without speaking. Now the landlord is offended and feel disrespected in front of their guests because the tenant did not speak to the landlord or their guests while they were going out the door. Please tell me what you think about this scenario. Please leave, please leave your opinion or, or what you think about this scenario in the comments, please. Because I would like to know. You see, this was an experience that happened to me. This was something that happened to me. And I'm the tenant in this whole scenario. Right? And because I choose to stay silent, I choose not to cause conflict because I'm upset because I was woken up out of my sleep by a loud surround sound, by dogs barking, by the landlord having visitors, not considering me as the tenant who pay rent, right? I chose not to say anything and walk out the door. Tell me if I was wrong and I was disrespectful for choosing not to speak and choosing to just be quiet and walk out the door and go to work early, to go sit in my car and wait to clock in a half an hour before my clock in time when I could have been resting, right? I have no children. I have no grandchildren. I have no responsibility but myself. I work hard. I work two jobs, sometimes three. And when I come home, if I pay my rent and I don't make noises, I don't play my music loud, I don't have no surround sound, I'm hardly ever here, I don't have any visitors that come, you don't even hear me on the phone talking to anyone. 
If I'm watching TV, I try to turn the TV down as low as possible where it's not disturbing anyone. Why can't I get the same respect from the landlord that I'm giving to the landlord as a tenant? Right? Please leave a comment and let me know what you think about uh, this, this situation. Um, I, I, I'm not appreciating the way that the landlord is handling the situation, but I'm handling it very calmly, very maturely, and very respectfully. I just plan to move myself out of that landlord's property to solve all of the issues. That's how I'm handling it. I, I, there's no malice, no arguing, no, no dispute, no disagreement. From the day that I walked out, I have been silent on this situation. And I will remain silent about this situation. And I will remove myself from this situation. But I want you guys to give me your opinion or what you would do in this situation, how you would handle it. Has this ever happened to you? This is Marie's message, 411 TV. And until next time, be good to yourself and be good to others. Respect others if you want to be respected. Until next time, bye-bye.